Jesus name. Tupie Yesu makofi kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Praise and worship. You can have a seat in the presence of the Lord. Karibuni sana sana in the house of the Lord. I'm so happy, so excited to see you and to meet you once again. It is by the grace of God. It is by the grace of God. Umbali hu ni mungu ametusaidia. And we have got all the reason to thank God. Now, siku ya leo ni siku yetu ya today we are the last Sunday of the month of May, and we thank God for his grace. We are almost now the half year, and uh, we thank God. Ata tukulete neno la buwana kwa jia ambayo kila moja yetu tutafahamu na tutayelewa. Neno la buwana la sema vizuli ambayo ilikuwa ni ishala sa siku za mwisho, moja wapo ya the signs of the last days, Bible inasema, the love of many shall grow cold. The love of many, not, 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 not the normal love, but the love for God. The love for God. Upendo wa mungu kwa watu wengi utapungua kiasi. Now, na kwa hivyo, tunasairi kujua, we are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. But pamoja na hivyo in the last days, ni vizuri kujikumbusha na kuongea mambo itakayo tusaidia so that we may be able to overcome those signs and the problems of the last days. Na siku ya Sunday, ni kaongea kuhusu the spirit of compelling, compelling, compelling. And uh, in the course of the week, I've been praying and asking God, and I felt, ni vizuri kwa sabu wakati moja, we came to the arise, neno likiongewa mara moja, siyo sana sana watu wengi huwa wanasikia. Lakini jambu likisemua, mala mbili watu wa wanasikia. So kwa hivyo siku ya leo nataka kuleta ujumbe, ambo na wita anakazo. Anakazo. Anakazo is a Greek word. Anakazo ni A-N-A-G-K-A. Z O Anakazo 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 E N A K I mean G K A Z O Now let's go to our scriptures in the book in our scripture in the book of Luke chapter number 14 Anakazo Tell your neighbor Anakazo Anakazo, isn't it? You know that is the, the best of being in church. We learn so many languages. So today, that is a Greek word, anakazo, meaning to compel, to compel, to compel, to compel. Let's go to our scripture in the book of Luke chapter number 14 and verses number 16 to 24. That is where our scripture is. In the book of Luke chapter number 14, Anakazo. Bible says, Jesus replied, let's start for first number 15. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said, he said to Jesus, blessed is the man who will eat at the feet, at the at the feast in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. When you put here, New King James, that verse is very important. Verse number 16. At that time of the banquet, he sent a servant to tell those who had been invited, come for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to give excuses. The first said, I've been, I've just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen and I am on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another said, I've just got married, so I can't come. 
the servant came back and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servants, go out quickly into the streets and areas of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. The blind and the lame. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Verse 23, very important, an akazo. Then the master told a servant, go out to the lords and country rings and make them come in so that my house will be full. Now, New King James in Asema, verse 23, then the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel and do what? You do what? You compel them to come in. Now, the word anakazo, it means to compel. To compel, that is the word. The Greek word is anakazo, anakazo. Simply you compel. To compel also, it means to drive. To drive. To con Another meaning of the word compel is to constrain. To constrain by all means. By all means. That is by force, by persuasions, and by outreaches. Asema jina compel, lina maanisha. Nikule kusukuma, nikule kusihi, nikule kwa jia zozote, you push somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. And those are the words of Jesus. I told you, maneno ya Yesu si maneno ya kuchukuliwa kwa urahisi. Kwa hivyo, maneno yake anasema, Yesu anasema, palikuwa na mtu mmoja. Let's go to verse number 16. Let's go to verse number 17. Let's go to 17. New King James. He sent a servant supper. Now, very important. Bible inasema, Yakoba Yesu anapeana mfano palikuwa na mtu moja aliyekuwa ametengeneza dina King James inasema dina New King James it says it was a supper a supper isn't it Bwana Yesu tukuzwe I want you to understand because if you don't understand you may not understand what I'm saying Yakoba ilikuwa ni chakula cha jioni isn't it So supper Inakuanga ni, ma, ni chakula cha jioni. Kwa hivyo haikuwa ni lunch. It was a dinner. It was a dinner. Huyu Yesu anapeana ya kwamba palikuwa na mtu moja tajiri. Alia tengeneza chakula cha jioni. Na kaandika invitation cards. Akaita watu wengi ya kwamba wakuje. Lakini wala waliokuwa wamesha karibishwa. Bible nasema. Hawakuja Walianza kuwa na some excuses Wakasema sababu Ya kwamba mimi sita kuja Ya kwamba nilinunua Shamba Praise the Lord Kama kuna watu wakona excuses today Ni watu wakanisa The people from the church I want you to understand It was a supper It was a Ikiwa ulinunua shamba Unaweza kuona shamba usiku? Uh, talk to me now. Can you see your shamba at night? Lakini, excuse moja, anasema, mimi nilinunua shamba. Because I bought the shamba, sitaweza kuja katika hiyo karamu. Lakini welewe, karamu ilikuwa ni ya usiku. Praise the Lord. And this I want to argue today because there are people they have got so many excuses why I'm not in church why I will not tithe 
why I will not pray, why I will not support the project. Not every excuse is genuine. Number one, Adisaba, we can go together. Adisaba, Mimi, Nirinunua Shamba. Let's go. So I bought a Shamba, but they all, with one accord, began to give excuses. Sababu Zakuto Kuja Kwakaramu. The first one, Akasema, I've bought a piece of the land, and therefore I must go and see it. At the night, you cannot see a shamba. Praise the Lord. Excuses. And I must go and see it. And I asked, Prophet. Number two, Anasema. Another one said, I have bought five yoke of oxen. And I'm going to test them. Is it a genuine excuse? I'm asking, is it a genuine excuse? Mfano, nina kuitia sapa, unasema apana, mimi ninunua, zina ito aje? Ninunua ngombe za kurima, yoks, isn't it? Na kwa hivyo, sita, sita kuja kwa karamu kwa sababu nataka kujaribu ngombe zangu. Mutu harimangi usiku, it was a lie. An excuse that is what, eh? Bwana isa tukuzwe. Bwana isa tukuzwe. You know today, I want to fight the spirit of excuses. People, they have so many excuses. Kwa nini ya ukuji maombi? Ni masaya ya sapa. Ni masaya ya? Let me ask you a genuine question. At what time do you eat? At what time do you eat? At what time? At what? I'm asking you a question. Najua mimi naongea hivyo hivi sasa mwenyewe ujiulize. Ikiwa hautaweza kuja maombi because ni masaya sapa. Ni masaya I ask myself. At what time do we eat sapa? Majority here, wale watu walio wasomi wako hapa, wanajua sapa, wanakuranga saa kumi na moja, ama saa kumi na mbili. Do you know there are different people in, in the house, in the house of God, isn't it? There are those people who know, according to the, to the health and what have you, you should eat sapa are, you should sip, eat sapa are. Bwana yesa tukuzwe, kuna watu wamenishanga, ati mimi nikikula sapa saa kumi na moja, Nitasikia jasa saba usiku. Lazima ni amuke ni kule. Now, now. Sapa, kama we want to, kama unataka kuna vizuri, kuna mape? Mapema. Bwana isa tukuzwe. Excuses. Excuse. So there is no excuse you can say that is genuine in the eyes of God. Anasema, mimi ni ipata punda zangu za kulima nataka kuenda kujaribu shamba. You don't prowl at night. Sapa ni ya jioni. Chakura ni ya jioni. And the Messiah amesha tuita tukule. So, jambo la piri, let's go to another excuses. Hapa watu wale sasema kana, still another said, I have married a wife. I've married eh? Ni meowa. Pastor, how comes you are calling us sapa na nimeoa? Angalia jirani yako. Mwambie pastor anaongea. Bwana Yesu atukuze. At night. Sapa ni ya jioni. Let me ask you a question. Is it a good is it is it a genuine excuse not to come for the supper? I'm asking you a question. Now, my friend, umeoa Unasema nimekuita sapa ukuje sapa is it a genuine reason not to come for the sapa because you married Ay. No it's not why because a sapa is a good outing is it not a good outing Ikiwa nimekuita sapa umeniita sapa is it not a good time of outing with my wife Is it not a good time of outing 
ili yakoba tukuje tukule baada ya kukula so that we may go back you are not spending the whole night do you know people kuna watu wanasema pastor unajua usiku ndio mambo eh ndio mambo it's like i don't refuse isn't it it's not the whole night it's only a supper it's only there bwana hizo tukuza sana so they have got so many excuses but my word is this verse number 23 number 23 ni kwamba there is no excuse why we should not lakini anasema kwamba walikataa kuja but the master say to his servant go out into the highways and hedges and compel anakazo ana you anakazo somebody you compel somebody you constrain somebody you push somebody why because the house of the father must be full bwana yesu tukuze there are people with so many excuses wana sababu lakini na bwana sababu kwamba you go to highways you compel you push people you constrain them you bring them why there is a supper in the house of our god bwana yesu tukuze tunaposema ya kwamba we should be baptized with the spirit of anakazo ana anakazo all of us we should understand to ogandika siku za mwisho ya kwamba the love of many itapungua lakini ni jukumu lako na langu we go to highways we anakazo people to the house of god we push them we constrain them we bring them in the house of god bwana yesu tukuze bwana yesu tukuze ni nani leo aliye kuwa anakazod to church by somebody ni nani alipushiwa na mtu leo kuja church i see whether people got my gospel on sunday ngai or you are pushed by someone to come to church who who did that yeah just stand tell us who did that somebody who an accused you to church devi who is who is the up oh, is baba morin oh thank you elder oh ame toka nje bwana yesu atukuze we must receive the grace of an accused avana bwana yesu atukuze I will show you why Yesu alisema ya kwamba we should compel them to the master's house. Bado inasema kitu kingine hapo nimesoma ambacho ilinisaidia ilinistua sana. Ya kwamba verse number 21. Bible says the servant came and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered go out quickly into the streets and the town and bring in bring in the poor you bring in there you bring in there <laughs> now i read this scripture nikasuka sana bible says bring in the poor is that so masikini bible nasema the lambs the the crippled they all came the blind they came so i was asking myself when i came in the house of god i came poor but i cannot leave the house of god a poor person <laughs> Bwana Yesu atukuze. Yuta vizuri. Tulikuja nyumbani mwa Bwana tukiwa masikini. Lakini tunapotoka nyumbani mwa Jehova, we don't leave poor people. Tunaingia tukiwa na uwete. Tunaingia tukiwa sisi ni vipofu. Tunaingia sisi hatujiwezi. But when we come in the house of God, 
hatuondoki tukiwa sisi ni viwete tunaondoka tukiwa wazima bwana yesu atukuzwe sana watu waliokuja walijaa masikini walikuwa viwete walikuwa vipovu walikuwa wamepara wa paralyzed lakini when they came to the master's house waliondoka wakiwa wazima kwa jina la bwana i remember i told you yakoba sisi zote tuliokuja hapa kila mtu ako na kasoro yake anataka kutengenezwa anataka kufanya nini na kuna watu wanaojifanya kanisani yakoba wao ndio ma watchman wanasema kasoro za watu bwana yesu atukuzwe Sijui kama mwai kwenda hospitali kama mimi siku moja nilienda many years nilipokuwa nimekaa kwa hospitali tulikuwa tunasonga mtu pole pole isn't it na kwa hospitali hakuna mtu alikuwa naongea na yule mwingine kwa sababu uwanja wangu hauko uwanja wa jirani yangu hauko uwanja wa jirani am i talking to you now your sickness is not your neighbors sickness isn't it lakini tunapokuja tunatengenezwa kuna watu wanaenda hospitali wanaondoka wanasema he mtu fulani alikuwa ni mgonjwa hata wewe haukuwa mzima ukienda hospitali ulienenda ukiwa na haja is only the, the difference of sicknesses and diseases tulizokuwa nazo so each one of us in the house of god we must bear one another We must bear one ana. You should bear me. Kuna mtu aliye ni mgonjwa. Uonjo wake ni wa kuongea. Tell your neighbor bear with him or her. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Ni uonjo wa mdo? Wa mdomo. Wachana na yeye, wachana. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Lakini bado atatengenezwa. Atafanya nini? Atafanya nini? Bwana Yesu atukuze. Wengine kila wengine ni wagonjwa, magonjwa ya kutokujua kuvaa. They don't know how to wear. Ni msichana ametoka kule nje, amekuja na ugonjwa wake, na ugonjwa wake una shida wa mavazi. Tafadhali dada, usimchekeree huyo binti, lakini amekuja na atatengenezwa. Simgesema amen. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Kwa sababu sometimes we come in the house of God. Unakuta wale wagonjwa wanachekelea wagonjwa wale wengine. Ni vizuri ulifika mbele yangu, ukatengenezwa, ugonjwa na ukapona. Na mimi bado ninagojea daktari. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether But I like giving you stories. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Sijakuwa mtu wa kwenda hospitali. Lakini nipo gonjeka many years. Ugonjwa ule niliokuwa nao it was an infection. So, nilipokuwa naenda nilipokuwa naenda hospitali ni hii Kayore inaitwa Diwapa. Nikaenda mara ya kwanza nikakuta daktari alikuwa ni mstana alikuwa ni nani mstana nilipomwangalia hivyo na ugonjwa wangu mwenye nilikuwa nao si ugonjwa mzuri kuelezea opposite are you getting what i'm saying now so nilipoangalia ni mstana ili yako pale nikaona nikaondoka nikaenda so nikakaa hapo nje kidogo nikifikiria daktari atabadili atabadilishwa so nikarudi tena saa 8 nikaangalia sasa hiyo mimi sija sijakuwa sija sina maumivu sana kidogo tu nikaangalia nikakuta daktari hajabadili hajabadilishwa sasa si kuenda hiyo siku nikakaa siku mbili siku ya tatu usiku nikasikia siwezi kulala it was so painful sasa hiyo mpaka my wife anauza what is the problem kama mbia no there's a big problem here. There's a big problem here. No finally I decided tomorrow hata nikienda nikute daktari mama. Nitamwambia shida yangu. 
Bwana Yesu atukuza. Siku na watu kama hao wa kanisani wanakujanga hivyo. Wanaangalia nani anahubiri leo? Ah leo ni pasaka kile. Hata kama haendi ameenda kupiga sutura moyo wake umeondo. Am I preaching to you now? Bwana Yesu atukuza. Kuna watu wako na mentality wakikuta ni misisi wa mpua na hubiri eh na si, walitoa kanisa ile ingine wanasemanga wa mama they should not preach so wanapokuja so huyo mtu atabaki na ugonjwa until i am telling you my own story nipoenda the following day asubuhi mapema saa moja na nusu nilikuwa hospitali and i was ready ninasema Nikutane na daktari mumama nikutane na daktari mzee nitamwambia my problem without fear because this is my problem is not his problem Are you getting me now Bwana Yesu atukuze Bwana Yesu atukuze I want to change your mentality Kuna watu akisikia ni fulani anahubiri eh hiyo injili si isiki hiyo injili sifanye nini ambia rafiki yako uko hospitali Tell your neighbor you're in the hospital Bwana Yesu atukuze Do you want me to continue the same story? Do you want me to continue the same story? God is full of mercy. Nikakuta daktari mwanaume. Nilipoingia nikamwambia, "Ai, daktari, daktari, asante." Nilikuja hapa jana na juzi. Nikakuta daktari mama. Nikashindwa kumwambia problem yangu. Sasa shida yangu ni hii na hii. Daktari alinichekelea. Akaniambia leo sasa ni saa mbili. Nimesha treat watu watano with the same problem, with the same problem. The same problem. The same problem. And they are men. The same problem with the same. There is an outbreak of that thing. He nikamwambia my friend. Sasa huyu daktari ananiambia Sasa mimi ni pasta. Ananiambia ati niende nikafanye pupu. Is it? And then yanapatia kamke. Sana muuliza. Ambia rafiki yako hospitali. Sana muambia daktari. How now what are you telling me now? Kaniambia hapana. That is there. Sasa imagine unaenda nini? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With a small bottle and then you carry you carry so embarrassing but because my problem was not his problem haikuwa na jia ingine lazima ningeafanya shughuli hizo zote nikompatia kafanya whatever that alifanya kila kitu sasa anaanza kuniambia kuna matibabu mara pili kuna moja ya udungwe ukae kama umeenda na kuna ingine ya ukunywe pole pole nikamwambia mimi nataka hiyo ya kudungwa mara moja hata kama nataka kama as long as i'm not going nikuzimia kidogo kisha nirudi nataka hiyo akaniuliza who are you i told him i'm a pastor so sija i have no sija kuwa na madawa sija kuwa i'm not addict sija kuwa na anything so my body is strong akaniambia i tell you lakini hii utakufa utakaa kama unakufa kidogo nikamwambia there is no problem my problem is to be healed bwana yesu atukuzwe na sitaki ya pole pole nataka ya hara si mungu asaidie watu kama mimi hapa watakao sema bwana nisaidie Nipone ugonjwa wangu kwa haraka. Kwa sababu usipopona kwa haraka utabaki ukitusumbua. Kabia daktari ni sawa. Kaniambia teremusha. Kateremusha. Akawekelea. Kwa kitan and then I went for some few minutes and then I came back. Immediately after that I was healed. I was Bwana Yesu atukuze. Si hata leo nitakupatia dose na ukubali hata kama utaenda kidogo upone kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Bible nasema you compel them. They came lame, sick. Bwana Yesu atukuze. So each one of us we must desire, we must come
compel men and women to the house of God. Why? People are sick outside. They need the healing of God. And the healing of God can only be found in the house of God. So, there is no excuse why you should not love God. Why you should not be in church. There is no excuse whatsoever. Excuse you can now. It is not genuine in the house of God. Jambula Piri, ni kwamba ukubali we ni mwonjwa na mimi ni mwonjwa. Tumekuja tutibiwe. Babu nasema waliingia masikini. Wakatoka wakiwa ma. Yesu nasema kwamba nimemwagia mafuta nitangazie masikini habari. Habari. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Praise the Lord. I don't know sijui kama mimi huwa nafikiria sana ama ni nini. When I was sitting here I felt kuna watu wanasemanga fulani ndiye alifanya maisha yangu ibadilike isn't it isn't it na si kusema mtu huyo wewe hawezi kukusaidia hata wewe you learn from their life are we together now there is a way you can see somebody na uanze kutamani maisha yake uanze kutamani mwenendo wake and your life changes and changes completely but the problem iliyoko ni kwamba wewe hautaki kusoma kwa wengine praise the name of the lord the secret to lionayo in the kingdom of god the kingdom of god, if you want to become rich there is only one way of becoming rich only one tell your neighbor one way and that one way is one way of giving of let's go to the scripture about elder some on sunday in the book of rook Bible nasema give it shall be given back to very important give so the only way for you to become rich the only way, way for you to become rich it's by giving it's by if you want to be rich Bible says give and it shall be given back to you back to so in other words if you don't give there is no way for you to receive this is the bible this is the word of god bible says give it will be given to you give it will be given to this is the word bible says good measure pressed down shaken together and landing over will be put into your prosom but there are people they want to be rich but they are very mean they don't give they don't they don't give arms they don't support other people they are just there let me tell you the only way for you to be rich in the kingdom of god is by giving it's by it's by giving so, okay, my word was anakazo. Tell your neighbor, anakazo. Na tumesema anakazo ni kufanya nini? It is to compare. Thank you so much. Nimeona mzee nilie mpush. Baba Titus. Nime mpush. Nime? Mpush. Yeah. Baba Titus, tusalimia. Kiwa tu hapo. Simama tu. It's a great honor. Thank you. Tusalimie tu hivi. Amen. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Yeah. We should be you lazima tu tunasikia neno la Bwana. You should push somebody. Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Make sure they come to the house of of God. Hakikisha wanakuja in the house of God. Why anakazo? Kwa nini anakazo is important? Because number 1 because a certain time of evangelism is not going to work in our day and age. Nasema hivi, kwa nini kukompel kusukuma mutu kanisani ya kwamba ni ya maana na mbamba ya kwanza ni kwa sababu jia zingine za kuhubiri njiri hazita wezekana siku zetu 
na kwa kizazi chetu there are people hawawezi kusimama kwa open air kuna watu hawawezi kuja kwa crusade but the only way they can hear the gospel is when you push them is when you compare them to the house of god bwana yesu atukuzwe nimeenda madhishi mengi nimeenda madhishi mengi sana lakini nimekuja kugundua particular men wanaume hawakaangi kwa mazishi hawakai kwa mazishi si ndio unakuta familia wanasimama na hata mambo yote wakati wa neno wanaume wengi majority of men huwa wanaondoka wanaenda kule kwa kwa gate wangapi umeshanoti hivi kwa kwa, kwa kwa mazishi most men wanaendaga kule kwa gate na huko wanaanza story isn't it kwa hivyo unakuta pasta akihubiri anahubiria watu wachache tu Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Kuna watu wengine ili wasikie injiri, lazima tuwasukume kwa ibada kanisani. We push them to the service in the church. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe sana. Kwa sababu hakuna njia nyingine. There is no other way. Mtu huyo hautamshika wakati wa mazishi. Hautamshika, hautampata siku ya harusi. Kwa sababu harusi tena zimekuwa ni kama za wamama. Unakuta wamama ndio wako kwa harusi. Wamama wako kwa mazishi, wamama wako kule kwingine. Wanaume they are nowhere to be found. The only place we can push men and everybody else is when you push them to the house of God. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. We must anacaso people. We must anacaso our children to church. Our children to to church. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Bwana Yesu atukuze. I think somebody was asking me, wewe huwa una force watoto wako? Naambia yeye huwa na wa force. For now because they are young, they are. Sio kama mwai kujua siku ya Sunday usingizi na kuanga mtamu sana. Si ndio? Sasa hiyo naambia mtoto amka. Mtoto anasunguka hivyo kwa kitanda anajifunika. Isn't it? Sisi tulio na watoto hawa wadogo isn't it? Lakini mtoto huyo huyo ukimwambia siku ya kwenda shule amka saa kumi ako macho ako But when it come to the things of God kuna kuwa kuna ugumu wa mtu kuamka kwenda kanisa lazima sasa unatumia kitu inaitango anakazo you constrain them you do what ikiwezekana chukua hiyo brangeti na ikiwa anaenda to another level muagia yeye maji muambie tunaenda Bwana Yesu atukuze because i'm heading there now where my young man my children will be bigger than me nitakuwa nikimwambia yeye kero twende church ananiambia daddy daddy kuna best yangu alikuwa ameniambia twende pale si taweza kumpush is it Bwana Yesu atukuze I'm talking to you ambao sisi tuko na watoto wadogo. Praise the name of the Lord. Elder Ambua he has sons and daughters. Today hawezi mpigia simu amwambie enda, isn't it? Ako miaka 20, ako miaka 30. Are we together now? Lakini unakuta sisi, sisi ya kida mama mokoa na wengine, watoto wetu ni wadogo. Unasema hapana tusisumbue mtoto. Musumbue sasa. Kuna siku kitakuwa kimwanaume. Kitakuwa nini? Takiambia twende church ah maza maza enda zako enda zako nini yule ana ugomo niko kugodha kijana anasimama hivyo anakuwa unampiga hakuguzi kijana hamwagi machozi yani mwili wake ni kama chuma unampiga wewe unasikia unasikia uchungu Bwana Yesu atukuze Bwana Yesu atukuze siku moja my mother alijaribu kunipiga nikiwa mkubwa unajua siku potea <laughs> nilisimama hivyo po po miti kavunjika po po unajua ni wakati wa ujana ujana madhe gwathera moto yoki maina neni yule ana oguo ananirukia na meno anauma anajua meno yake itachomoka hii sasa imekuwa ni kama ngozi 
Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Very important. I'm saying number 2 why anakazo is important because many of the needs many of the people that need the gospel are not in the places where they can receive invitation cards i'm saying why anakazo is important because many people that need the gospel are not in the places where they can receive invitation cards I'm saying an akazo compelling power constraining grace is important because in most believers mind what wengi they are not pushed to church but they are invited to other places Munyarawa vizuri kuna watu hawatawahi kukaribisha wewe kwa ibada lakini watakaribisha wewe kwa kirabu watakaribisha wewe kwa ba watakaribisha wewe kwa changaa na vitu vile vingine therefore the church we must train ourselves to become an akazo to people outside there bwana yesu atukuzwe sana bwana yesu atukuzwe People they normally say Yakoba wa Kristo hawana hawapendani sana. Christians they don't love each other so much. Kwa sababu unaweza kuta mkristo yeye anapenda kanisa, anapenda nyumba ya Bwana, lakini hawezi kusukuma mtu mwingine. Lakini enda kule nje ukuta walevi, walevi, walevi. Unakuta wanakaribishana. I think yesterday we were talking with somebody. He's not born again. She's not born again. Alikuwa ananiambia hey pastor you know unapouta kujua neno lina wakati ni wakati Mungu anana confirm na so many things huyo mama kaniambia kuna mama fulani rafiki yake ambaye alikuwa akimwambia wewe mama uko na pesa kwa nini usikuje ni kuonyeshe raha ni kuonyeshe kuna pahali tunaendanga tunakutana uko na wanaume na tunakunywa pombe yani there is life there is Huyu dada akaniambia ali, ali, aliambia huyo kila mtu ako na maisha yake ya kui You know somebody mwenye ana handle a lot of money ana handle a lot of money mama mwingine anakuja na mwambia kuja twende kuja twende kwa fa, para fulani there people are invited to do bad things to do bad Bwana Yesu sana but come to we, we members we Christians had we don't anakaso those people to church bwana yesu atukuzwe bwana yesu atukuzwe ikiwa mimi sita anakaso michael apende mungu apende maombi apende neno la bwana michael atakuwa anakaso na watu wengine pale atabio pana michael you only 20 something years sasa ni wakati you discover yourselves mwanaume anakaanga Mwanaume anaishi hivi na hivi na unakuta watu wetu they are taken away when you are not taking them in and therefore today I have decided to teach you this we must compel as many as possible in the church Bwana Yesu atukuze Bwana Yesu atukuze You know I know what I'm saying I know what I'm saying Ninajua mama wengi waliopoteza doa zao Si kwa sababu they are wicked lakini kwa sababu kuna mtu aliwainvite kwa mambo maba Hapaya Bwana Yesu atukuze You know there is a time you are some Okay mimi kwa maisha yangu ni I have got so many weaknesses we are all of, all of us we are sick Mimi si kuangi addict of vipindi fulani And there is a time my wife she was so addict na na kipindi kilikuwa kinaitwa Kamira ilikuwa inaitwa Kamira those days do you remember that song, that, that, that kipindi ilikuwa kwa citizen how many they remember that that kipindi now hiyo kipindi so sometimes ningetoka kwa ushirika nakuta mama hajapika lakini yako kwa sasa hiyo nsa mbili na kitu sikielekea saa tatu ako hivi na muuza nikae turalia eh 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 sasa nikamuta what is this now nikamuta what is this 
akaniambia sivyo akaniambia jina huyo mtu huyu mtu ana double deal ana double how many they remember that the story huyu kijana ana double ako na mke lakini ako na mwingine wa kando isn't it na wamepata mto mtoto lakini hataki mke wake ajue sasa ni, 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 ni kama kitaumana ni kama ni, 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 ni kama kitaumana ni kama kitaumana you know what you get what i'm saying now sasa nikamuliza na hii ni, ni story yangu nisikie mtu akimwambia nikamuliza if you are learning how to double deal I'm talking to you now. I mean, I'm talking to you now. You should know the kind of lessons you get from other people, isn't it? Kwa hivyo, what are you learning here? Nikamwambia from today. From is why you are not keeping the key hapa. Even today. Even even today. Kuna zingine zimekuja. Zo zinaitwaje? Zora, isn't it? na zingine na i said no kwa sababu ukifu mama ukiona hii kitu pande uende 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 si siku moja utani double deal <laughs> si, si, si we, we are talking isn't it so utani double deal isn't it kama mbia stacky story isn't it kuna kingi hiyo sijui ni zora na ingine unakuta kilikuwa kinafundisha watoto matuzi isn't it unasikia jeremy kama tukana mtu kina kilikuwa inaitwaje zetezen bado kina matusi kina matusi unasikia katoto kama amesema anita kana tukana so what kind of lessons are you learning praise the name of the lord bwana yesu atukuze yani people are invited outside there we should invite more people in the house of it is in the house of god yakoba utakuja utafundishwa kama sasa nimekufundisha kuna vipindi haupaswi kuziot bwana yesu atukuze Bwana Yesu atukuze. Watu wa Man City. Watu wa Man City mko. Simuliongwa. Simuliongwa. <laughs> Sisi watu wa Chelsea ni wabaya, isn't it? <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini msijali there is there is always a next. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Kama venye wanaume wanapenda Paul, wanapenda Hivyo ndivyo napenda church na maombi. Hii church ingekuwa powerful. Ingekuwa Bwana Yesu atukuze. Kuna mtu ananiuliza, "Kwa nini pastor wewe una uchangi ball? By the way si kuwatch. Nikuona niliona ati hawa ndio chezi ndio walishinda, isn't it? Lakini waliunga tu moja. Si wangeunga tu mbili. Now, we am saying we should anakazo. Tell your neighbor anakazo. Anakazo. Tumesema anakazo is to compel. Mesema kwamba because people they are not invited, we should invite as many as possible dear members without an akaso the house is going to be empty without an a get me very important without compelling people number three, the house will be empty the house will be bwana yesu atukuze nasema hivi kwa sababu wewe na mimi tunastahili we push Many people to church. Why? If you don't push them to church, the church will be empty. Bible says, why? Bible inasema hivi, ya kwamba huyu mwenye ile kalamu aliambaliona ya kwamba watu wale walikuwa wamekaribishwa hawakuja. Kwa hivyo akasema, enendeni muambie, tell them to come. Why? Without the people in the supper, the supper hall will be empty. Will be? Bwana Yesu atukuze. Praise the name of the Lord. You know I'm teaching to become an evangelist. To become an evangelist. Each one of us. Each one of us. And I told you, na hii sijuini, kama itaingia kwa kwa siku ya leo. Nivibaya sana. Nivibaya sana. Kujua unakujanga nyumba ya Bwana na unabalikiwa lakini you don't push somebody to come in the same house of God for him or her to receive his or her blessings. Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Ni vibaya sana. Even your neighbor haujamwambia I'm born again, I fellowship to this church. I fellowship to this 
It is so bad. It is so bad. It's so bad. Na kwa hivyo, tuika tu hivyo. Why? Niliwafundisha kwa kuhusu the importance of becoming a permanent church member. Lakini kitu moja nasahiri kujua, hatutaishi na nyinyi siku zote. There is a time utafauru utanunua ploti yako uende Kiambu. Isn't it? Hautaweza kutoa Kiambu kukuja hapa. Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Wengine watanunua kule Machakos. Mtaenda kule. Wengine watakuja tufungue kanisa na huko na what have you. So if you keep on people living and going and nobody else ambaye na push people to church. I tell you the church will be empty. But I pray today that we shall receive the grace of compelling men and women to church. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Compel people, compel people, compel people. Compel people. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Yeah. Why should we compel people to church? Why is this, is it important? Because the life is becoming hectic. The life is becoming more hectic as we approach the 21st century. Kanisa, I mean, I mean the life imekuwa so hectic. Watu wako na shughuli nyingi sana sana. People are very busy. If you don't compel people, I tell you it is easy mtu kubebwa na mambo. Mtu kubebwa na nini? The life is very hectic, hectic. Toka tu siku moja usimame kwa barabara, uone the multitude of people. People they are very busy doing great things, moving upside and down. If you don't compel them, if you don't compel them. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about anakazo. Ana? The world is very, very busy. Very, very busy. People are very hectic. Watu anashuguli. Lazima sasa sisi wenye tuamushane. Tufanya nini? Tuamushane. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Ikiwa nwa mama, hatujafanya intercession. Kwa sababu ya watoto wetu, watakao olewa. Watakao oleka. Wa mama tushikane vikundi tuabiane sisi we shall commit ourselves to pray for our children for this life and the life to come we pray for their spouses we pray for their marriages we pray for their businesses we pray for their jobs Bwana Yesu atukuze sana Bwana Yesu atukuze utashangaa you and daughter kifika miaka kuuliza mami sina mtu anayenipenda lakini ungefanya maombi yake mapema. Wi lazima tuamshane, lazima tufanye nini? Thank you so much Elder Rusi. Leo hii anatufundisha maombi ya intercession. Maombi ya nini? Intercession. We must intercede. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Ikiwa shetani ameweka arama, Yakoba you are husband atakufa at the age of 40. Unasema oh God okoa maisha yake save his life mungu ikiwa kuna mpango wote wa shetani bible imetuambia shetani anakuja kuiba kuwa na kuharibu shetani hautaharibu mume wangu hautaharibu mke wangu hautaharibu watoto wangu hautaharibu kazi ya mikono yangu hautaharibu uzao wa tumbo yangu ninawafunika na damu ya mwana kondoo na sio sasa tu hata kizazi kitakacho kuja baadaye ninawabariki yani you keep of interceding you keep on why if you don't do that i tell you the devil is laughing at us are we together now we must we must wake up. We must wake up. Lazima tuamke ili yakoba tuanze maombi, tuanze kufunga, tuanze kutafuta uso wa Bwana, tuanze kumlilia Mungu. Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. We pray for the church. We pray for the church. When we see there is no love in church, when we see there is no young generation in church, we should cry. Lazima tulalue guo zetu na tuomboleze mbele za Bwana Bwana inua vichana wa vizazi vyetu inua wasichana katika siku zetu inua vichana wa siku zetu we pray for God to raise men and women in our times Bwana Yesu atukuze sana 
But the world is very hectic. How many are ready to keep on comparing more and more people in the house of God? What is it? What I'm going to do is say, to na nikuwa na hubiri kuhusu ujumbe unaito anakazo. Ana? To your neighbor, anakazo. Anakazo ni jina la kigiriki dinamanisha kukompel. Kusukuma. Kufanya nini? Kusukuma. Kusukuma. You compel. You compel your children to pray. You compel your husband to pray. You compel your wife to pray. Bwana Yesu atukuze sana. Ukiona mama amelala siku mbili, haja amka kuomba, tafadhali. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Chukua brangeti enda nayo. Enda enda nayo, isn't it? Mwambie mzee acha tuo. It will not cost you a lot. It's only for 20 or 30 minutes or 30. Hiyo maombi unaomba inaweza kuwa maisha yako. You compel your family to seek God. To seek? To seek God. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Bwana Yesu atukuze. Yeah. Tulikuwa tunasikia story moja. Mzee, mzee nikimalizia. Mzee alikuwa anaingia nyumba saa sita, saa saba usiku mlevi. Anaamsha watoto wote. Anawauliza, "Mama yako, mama yenu, anasema ngapi ni kwa nani?" Are we together now? Saa saba, si mtoto wa melaa kabisa. Wanaamsha wanaketisha kwa table room. Mama yenu anasema ngapi ni kwa na? Mtoto anasema, "Simba mwanatuambia ngapi ni kwako." Oh, and then murudi murare. It is foolishness. It is foolishness na ulevi wake. Lakini I think the same. Kama tugiakuwa na neema kama hiyo. Ukifika kwa nyumba ukute hawajaomba. Uingie, uwaite. It's only for 30 minutes. Jay, hapa muliomba. Hatu kuomba, ombeni. Ombe? Pray. Ombeni iso wasaidia. Mbwana iso atukuzwe. I want God to give us grace of comparing people in the house of the Lord. Na kabla hauja compel wengine. We mwenyewe, you compel your self. You compel yourself. Because, hawezi kusema wengine wafanya. Na we ufanyi nini? Haufanyi. So you must afford. We ukiwa mama, ikiwa nataka kuforce mzee wako wakuja church. Unataka kukumua anakazo wakuja kwa kanisa. Lazima we mwenyewe you ankazo yourself. You ankazo your? Yourself. So you push yourself to church. You push yourself to serve God. You push yourself to love the house of God. By so doing, you shall be able to compel your children, your husband, and the, the entire family in the church. In the, in the church. Have you learned something today? Have you learned something today? Leo nimeongea mambo mengi sana. Hata kile kitu unaacha kwa TV. Ukiona kitu haikusaidii tafadhali, wachana na wachana nayo. I was asking somebody week hii. Kuna my friend anapenda sana kuona wrestling. 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 Leso? Wrestling. And I was asking him, what benefit do you get from wrestling? Ati pasta we ni mushamba sana. Pasta we ni musha. But I ask myself, what benefit? What is? Nikishida nikiona watu wakipigana wakipigana. Akina hawa jamata sijui na kumbuki. Lakina remember wadesu walikuwa naitu akina yoko suna. Akina manke. Walikuwa naitu wa man? Wajama jama walikuwa kwa hapo. So what, what? At the end of the day. Do you know? Kira unaona sana inakuwa deposited in your heart. Do you know that? What you see and what you hear more, it will become permanent in your heart. I was, I was asking and thinking the government wana sema kwa bawatu wana wana. People are killing each other. I said the problem is not the problem is it's not anything. The problem is the TV to konazo, isn't it? Kama mtoto wana sida kiona wakipigana dush, isn't it? Dush, dush now. Is, you know what I'm saying, dush, isn't it? Mutoto huyu akishida kiona wanadungana wanapigana lisasi 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 wakati atapata opportunity apate ka kanaitwaje hiyo 
the, the, the hiyo kitu si atadushi watu wengine si atadushi watu wengine bwana yesu atukuzwe praise the name of the lord are you blessed today in the house of the lord now in the second service to be so powerful by the grace of i want us to stand on our feet i want us to pray 